guys, this is Corina. I'm going to do an unboxing today. I also have this to unbox first. I wanted to tell everybody about this. Um, I found out about this through Mrs. Coffee on her channel. And I loved it so much, I went right to the lady's website and started the process of getting mine ordered. Now this is a handmade diamond <clears throat> toolkit that you can place your tools in. Um, and this was handmade. Her name is Kelly Wright Head and you can find her on Facebook. Isn't that cute? Just a little thank you with the the twine around it. But she does these bags. As you can see, it's pretty long when it folds out. And this is the pockets for you to put your tools in. It's got a big one here that you can put like a diamond grinder or your big boat, um, pencils here, you know, your straighteners, you even have another big one here. You can actually talk to her about how many big size pockets you want, if you want it all medium size pockets or all small size pockets, and she'll make it to your order. Um, this fabric, um, she has some fabric um, that she holds on stock that you can go in and look at on her webpage. Um, and if you don't like that fabric, then you can always go and look for your own fabric. Um, she had a couple that I liked, and after I looked at it, I thought, hey, I'm just going to go look online and see what I could find. And I don't know if y'all can tell, but this is just a pretty purple lavender. Um, it's got little swirly cues in here and it's got like a northern star and she lined the inside with the darker purple i know y'all can see that because i can see it really good but i just love this um she charges between 20 and 25 dollars um like i said it all has to do with fabric choice um because if you do go online and you find another fabric you like, it depends on that fabric that you choose. You know, because if you choose a, an expensive satin or something like that, it's gonna make the price go up some. So I can tell you for a basic fabric, um, you know, and like I said, you can have any size of the pockets done up. Um, they cost between 20 and $25. And I paid, uh, 25 for this and it, to me it's worth every little bit take it and then uh, you know roll it up I think I'm doing it backwards here roll it up and then just tie it off and you got your cute little tote bag I know she does tote bags she does other things so if you want to check her out go check her out at Kelly Head, uh, Kelly Wright Head on Facebook <clears throat> okay this is from Cotart K-O-T-A-R-T um, Cotart Art on Amazon um, you might have seen this already from a couple other people I know Diamond Painting by Donnie um, uh, uh, Miss Crochet and Coffee, and I know for sure them too, but I want to say, I want to say Rachel Ray, um, 
done it, but I'm not for sure. This is from Cotart from, um, on Amazon.com. Now, I have Prime, so I paid $15.99 for this, and I didn't have to pay shipping because I had the Prime. I'm trying to get this in, poked out. See, it just comes right out, and it's nice. Anybody that gets the tube from Evermoment, Ever you know, it, it's nice because it really uh, protects the painting because it stays in a round form, you know, when it starts being square, um, then um, you start to get some creases and stuff in uh, your painting. I'm gonna stick this here so I don't lose it. Now, everybody knows, that follows me knows that I'm an animal person. I really do like animals, but, <clears throat> I'm not big on like mermaids and unicorns. Um, I don't know why. You know, I've got butterflies, I've got frogs, I've got all kinds, but this is a unicorn. My granddaughter is eight years old and she loves them. So I thought I would surprise her and do this unicorn for her. And I thought, why not try out Cotart um, at the same time since I had one. Um, she doesn't have a lot of paintings. Um, to me, I think I only seen three, but she works with the manufacturers on these pictures. You know, she'll get it there's something on there that she doesn't like or it doesn't seem right uh, she'll send it back to them and they'll fix it and they'll keep doing that until um, you know they get it to where she likes it um, here is the toolkit um, you got two regular boats with no cutouts Got a pair of the uh, metal um, that's square tipped off on the tweezers. Um, you got four pins in here. Uh, one has a three placer, one has a four placer, and the other one's a six placer. You got a big strip of glue, and there's a bunch of bags in there for your leftover drills. Um, this picture has 25 colors in it. Um, it does have the MC codes on the inventory sheet itself. And so this is the inventory sheet. Here's the inventory sheet here. And then you've got the instructions on this side. So, Let's look at the pictures, and then we'll look at the beads. It also comes with another instruction pamphlet. Um, little um, thank you card. Yeah, it's just a thank you card. Um, but here is that um, scanner. If you want to scan it for that picture, pause it real quick and scan it. And you can take that to Amazon and find the picture. Let me uh, look at the symbols here. R-B-I-Y-A does have an X and an O, or I'm sorry, an X and an R, but the X is yellow and the R is purple, so that won't be a problem. P-A- 
We do have a D and an O, but the D is um, blue and the O is green. So we have an A, the old fashioned A, and they do have a three, but it's two different colors. One's a dark, darkish dark blue, and the other one is a baby blue. Um, excuse me, I didn't mean to sniff like that. Um, so they do have some symbols that might be complicated at looking on the painting itself, but the colors are all real distinct colors to where um, you won't have any problems with that. And what I'm seeing here, and everybody that watches my videos for, um, well, any of them really knows how bad my eyesight is. And from the dark part, I think y'all can kind of tell how far back I am from reading this. And I can visually read the symbols here in the dark area. They're on dark lettering, but they have the uh, symbol itself is in white. And even over here, the red, I can distinctively see the uh, four. Over here, I can see the R's and the dark symbols. And of course, the symbols in the white. So I don't see anybody having a problem reading this. Because if I can read it, just about anybody can. I forgot to tell y'all, this is a 16 by 20. And it's it is sticky. Let me just get this and see if I can get it. Oh, sorry about that. I've got my computer on my desk recording, so I guess I need to change that, find something to put it in, or use, learn how to use my webcam. This is where my camera's been since I bought it. A uh, month and a half ago and still haven't figured out how to use it. My daughter's supposed to be teaching me that because I am not a very electronic type person. Um, she said she could help set it up to where I run it straight to my computer to record things. So I've just got to get with her and her showing me how to do it. That way I won't have this shaking when, when uh, I'm using the table. So I'm hoping y'all can see that. It's a very bright unicorn. It's got very bright colors. Um, oh, it's hot in here. I've got my door shut because it's like 2.30 in the morning. I don't want to wake my mother up. I don't hear the crinkly too bad. Oh, these colors are just so bright. See, I've not been big on this bright of paintings just because you don't want the colors to stick out more than the diamonds. But these diamonds are just so bright. It's beautiful, even the white. And they do have the white strip going across here with the black lettering on the uh, numbers. This is um, it, it just has like A25 on it. And when I go over here, to A25 um, on the inventory sheet, it does give me to where it's uh, the DMC number 5200. So I don't know if you want to see that. See, that says A25. That says A25, so that's 5200.
and this is A24. So this would be 3846. Okay, so I'm right. I'm telling the story. See, these are the white ones, and they are just, they are bright white. They're pretty. Here's some blues. Ain't that turquoise blue right here? Really pretty. And you have another one, and then there's a purple. And then you have a bright baby blue. And then a peach. Peach and pink. And more, uh, more blues. There we go. More blues. More peach. Um, red. Uh, I can't tell you if that's 310 or not. Let's look. That'd be 815. 815. No, it's not 310. It's a uh, Yeah, 815. It says it's a DMC code 823, so. Um, oh, look. They also come with little stickers. Oh, come with a lot of stickers to wear if you wanted to label your bags with your DMC code, you can. Or if you use a different system to store your beads and use these kind of labels, there are lots of labels that come with it, so. Um, these colors are just awesome. I don't know if I showed y'all these, but here's some pretty grays. And blues and purples. Yellow, orange, and green. Pinks. Pinks, gray. Another purple. I have some gorgeous purples in here. You know, I'm a, a big purple fan. I just love it. So, um, 25 colors. Let's just do inventory real quick on it. It's one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25. So they're all there. Um, you know, all I can do right now is give me an opinion about what I see right now. You know, the opinion of when I do it might change some. It depends on how I get in here with the glue. And if the symbols are different enough than the colors. From what I see here, there, there shouldn't be a problem even with the um, close to the same symbols. Um... That's all we can do. We can come in here and give you our, and I'm hoping everybody gives their honest opinion of the painting and not say this is a good painting because this is a new company. Um, I do not get paid to do that. I paid for this painting out of my own pocket, and whether or not they were paying me or not, um, I would give an honest review of this. Um, it's not in my nature to lie about something, but uh, something I didn't go over with. There's a inventory sheet here on the left top, and there is an inventory sheet on the bottom right corner. So that is one thing I love. Um, I know Diamond Art Club has changed up there some, and with them uh, introducing the 40 new images on the 15th. I'm hoping they took it 
more into consideration and put one at the top and then one on the opposite side on the bottom to where you know we can have access to it on both sides we're working this is a small painting so it's not really that big of a deal to have it on both sides but i like having them on there just in case i get over there and you know it's you know a lot easier to look at it here so now i'm just now I'm just sounding stupid, so I guess I need to get off of here in this video. Everybody that wants the tool kit holder, um, that's Kelly Wright Head, and you can find her on Facebook.com. All you have to do is message her. You can go to her shop, check out her fabric. You can message her and say, hey, I want to look for my own um, material if you didn't find any. And uh, you just send the link to her. She'll go look at the link, check the price, and then she'll get back with you on what the price would be. Mine was 25 so my fabric was within a limit of what she sets for a certain cost. So... I love this. I think it turned out beautiful. Kelly, I don't know if you watched my videos, but if you did, do, honey, this is so pretty. It's so beautiful. I can't wait to get my tools in it. And if you want to stand it up because you have like bigger pins because I know most of us have pins bigger than this. You, know, you roll it up and tie it. There you go. I love it. It's beautiful. I'm glad I found that fabric. Um, again, this is from Cotart. You can find them at Amazon. Um, I paid $15.99 for this. Um, with Prime, I didn't have any shipping. The colors are beautiful. The symbols are good. So that's my impression as of right now. Um, when I get it completed, which will probably be a while, I will do a final review on the product and let you know. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, eh, doesn't matter. <laughs> Um, hit that notification bell and you can get future notifications of my future videos. So, since it's quarter till three in the morning now, I'm going to pack this up and I'm going to try to go to bed. So, I hope y'all have a good morning, good e afternoon, good evening, good night, whichever part of the world you're in. So, Everybody have a good night. Bye.